What's up, Mr. Mike? How y'all doing? What's going on? <laughs> what up, what up, what up? Who's here in the house? What's going on, Prangeezy? Man, you always buy that phone, aren't you? Hey, guys, what's going on? Mr. A Block, what you going? Hey, I thought you were going to give me a call the other day, Albert. Hello from Minnesota. What's going on? What's going on? Where are y'all from? Who's new here today? Who's new to the family today? Give me a little holler. Let me know where you're from. The Dirty Jersey. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Brooklyn, baby. I was just in Brooklyn. I was uh, there for a wedding. I was staying at the, the White Hotel. Uh, it's pretty cool. Let me tell you something about New York. You know, when I used to come to New York, I mean, Brooklyn was like the biggest dump of all time. That's where Biggie Smalls was from. And now this last time I came, it was more expensive than Manhattan. Go fucking figure, right? Who would have thought? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was like, everybody was like, yeah, man. I was trying to stay in Manhattan. Everybody's like, nah, man, you want to stay in Brooklyn. That's the nice part of New York. I'm like, what? What does that mean? Hey, guys, uh, share this feed if you don't mind. Uh, swipe right, swipe left, and uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about stocks. And, uh, yes, I got a lot of you guys' emails and stuff. Um, our Trading Mastery Summit does start tonight. Um, that link is in my profile, so if you want a free viewing, uh, we have a kickoff webinar tonight um, where I, myself, and my mentor, uh, Ben Newman, uh, at Continued Fight, he's my performance coach that helps me get my cock stamina just right uh, before I start trading. Um, he'll be joining me. Uh, it'll be at 8 p.m. Uh, you can come in. I uh, hit the link in my Periscope or my IG, and I got 21 speakers there from all different walks of life. I got futures trader, options trader, a day trader, but it's gonna be a, a pretty kick-ass program, uh, and it's gonna be spread out over the next couple weeks, and everything will be recorded and, and stuff like that, but it's gonna be awesome. I found the 21 best traders and, and people I know in finance, and I put them all together, and they each did an awesome presentation. And they're going to be going out and, um, and and teaching you some things. And, of course, my presentation will be the best. Uh, I've got a one-and-a-half-hour presentation on how I uh, day trade the stock market open. And I'm going to use a lot of the uh, same techniques that uh, we're going to even talk about now. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about a couple trades uh, that I've made. This is one of my uh, favorite types of trades. And one of the things that I'll be going over in the Trading Mastery Summit which is uh, exhaustion gaps. And so one of the things that, you know, I teach my students in boot camp class, uh, you know, our 60-day boot camp is uh, not to take trades at the first candle, right, that first minute. Because what happens is when you take a trade at the first minute, you don't have any way of measuring your risk, and you can get your butt smoked out pretty quickly. But the one time we do it is when we start to see exhaustion gaps. And so one of the things that you'll see is like uh, if you guys are uh, got some charts up, pull up your charts. For those of you guys that don't have charts, I uh, go to freestockcharts.com. Uh, pull up a ticker called YY, and this is what I'm set up. So I want you guys to really, really be mindful of this. This is the money maker. This is a money maker setup. So what do you see here, guys? So first of all, Chinese stocks are on fire. Okay, Chinese stocks are on fire. Any Chinese stock you see has been red hot. So if you think about it like this, you know, you look at uh, YY, um, you look at Cena, look at these bad boys. These things were all at 50 bucks, all the way to 74 bucks. And uh, some amazing momentum. As trend traders, we wanna see this type of momentum, right? That's what we wanna see is these type of breakouts from these type of resistance levels and these big runs. But what happens is when a stock goes on a run for four, five, six days, when a stock goes on a run for four, five, six days, what happens is they start to get really, really extended, right? And so one of the things that we monitor is our statistics indicator. Uh, when that thing goes above 80, it's over overbought and extended. If it goes over 90, like it did today, this was a 96, that's an extreme level, guys. In trading, when you go counter trend, you want to really think about extreme levels. Extreme levels of upward movement or downward movement that can... Um, snap back a stock. So what I want you to think about like when stock uh, or when you think of the market is stocks are like rubber bands, right? 
like rubber bands. And when you stretch them so far one way and you're stretching them and stretching them and stretching them, the further you stretch, the more powerful the snap back is. And so what I want you to think about is once you're in that day four, day five range where stock has been running, so pull back up your chart for YY and look at what you see here, right? When you see this, what you see in the original move is a stock that is up now one, one, two, let's see here, uh, one day here, two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days, and then today it opened up hot too, eight days, and it runs right into a resistance level. Do you guys see what resistance level we're at? So that, that resistance level right at top is called the 200-day moving average, okay? Your 200-day moving average is your uh, longest-term moving average. That signifies your long-term trend, okay? That signifies your long-term trend. And so when you smack into that, you're smacking right into a key resistance point. And so you've gapped up into that. So you're up five, six days, and now what you're doing is you're gapping into that resistance level. So see this thing in the morning? Hold on. What you're seeing here in the morning is this huge gap, right? So let me pull up an easier to look at chart here. Let me, why, why? Hold on. Hold on, little mama. All right. So what you see here is a stock that's gapped up considerably at the open. See that? So on the daily chart, we know that it's hit the 200-day moving average. So at the open, you've gapped up this huge amount to about $53, okay? So once you get one reversal candle, you can short this thing for an exhaustion gap because what happens is when a stock is up five, six days in a row, see like how all these days, look how many days up it is. One day, two days, three, four, five, six, seven, and then today would be day eight, guys. Today would be day eight. I mean, that's crazy. So when you get that big candle at the open, see this gap? And that big rush at the open, when you get your reversal, you can short this thing on exhaustion, and then you can use your high of the day as the risk, but the trade should work literally immediately. Within seconds, it should start working. And what will happen is, now what happens is once that stock fills the gap and it goes red, there'll be a rush of traders that start to sell their positions. A rush of traders that start to sell their positions, why? Because the stock had gapped up and it's up a lot in the morning and then it starts to reverse and it goes red. And so think about the psychology of this. Uh, when you get a stock that's up in a row, you get a stock that's up eight days in a row, how are people feeling? They're very skittish, right? They're very skittish because they're like, holy fuck. This stock's up eight days in a row. And so, and I'm long. Imagine you bought this stock at $52 and it's been up eight days in a row and you're kind of like, oh, I don't know why I should have bought that, but it's up. And now it goes red. So once you go red, you're giving up that gain and you're filling in that gap. And now what will happen is you'll start to get this waterfall of where all the traders are rushing out the door. So you can see like this, Waterfall effect of everybody rushing out the door. Look at the size of these candles. Look at the size of these candles, right? That's like, what does that signify, guys? Compare, compare these three big candles at the open compared to the rest of the days. See all these little bitty candles? It's just been trending higher. When you get these three monstrous candles, that's telling you that people are rushing out the door now because this stock has reversed. It couldn't hold its gap. And now it's red, and we know for a fact that on the daily chart, right, that's our big picture, that this stock needs to come back down, that it's smacked right into resistance, right into resistance. And look how overbought and extended this thing is, right? Your statistics are at 82 right now, even after it's fallen all the way. In the morning, this thing was at 90. So you've got, and just common sense, right? Something's at 39 bucks and it gets to 53 without a break. That is something that's really, stocks take stair steps to go up, elevators to go down. And so that's your exhaustion gap setup. And then what happens is, when that happens, guys, do you guys know what to do? So say you get in a really good setup like that, okay? What do you do next once, you've, once you're in that one, right? Because we want to make some more damn money. Well, what's your next move after that happens? Does anybody know? 
Good, 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 good. I'll tell you what, a, a greedy person, being an Indian person, I'm very greedy. I'm always looking out for more cheap cash. So the first thing that I do once I'm in this thing and I'm making my money is I'm looking for its friends. I'm looking for potential friends that are just like YY, just like YY, that can follow suit in the same exact type of setup. So the first thing you wanna do is say, okay, what type of stock is YY? Well, it's a Chinese stock. So you can use uh, Yahoo Finance or Google, or, you know, there's a lot of different, um, there's a lot of different programs you can use to find out what are similar stocks. And so one of the things, hey, Ben, you can email me K-U-N-A-L at B-U-L-L-S-O-N dot W-S. Um, hit me up anytime. I love chatting with stocks. So one of the stocks that runs with YY, it's another Chinese stock that was also gapping in the morning, is this VIPS. See this freaking VIPS? Look at this little, look at this little piggy, right? K-U-N-A-L at B-U-L-L-S-O-N dot W-S. Or you can just email canal at bullsonwallstreet.com. Um, that's totally cool. Or you can go um, just to my website, bullsonwallstreet.com and uh, hit... You know, you can hit the contact page too. Here, this fucking glare is crazy on these phones, isn't it? All right, so hold up. So let's go back to this little piggy call, right? So we know that YY has gapped up and run into resistance. And now we can see VIPs over here, right? It goes from 10 bucks all the way to 17, but this last run, it hasn't taken a break. It's up also five, six, seven days in a row. Five, six, seven days in a row. So look what happens today with VIPs. What do you get here? See this? What's this called here, this gap? That's your motherfucking exhaustion gap, baby. That exhaustion gap is where the suckers pile in, all the people that wanna be late to the party, the last man to the gangbang, they wanna come in and get up in this thing, but guess what? It starts to reverse. And so as soon as we're shorting YY, what I'm looking for is secondary plays, guys. What is the sector? What's the theme? The theme is Chinese stocks. That's the sector that was running. So what happens is once you start to reverse in one of the main stocks, now we're starting to look for secondary plays that we can short. And so this exhaustion gap starts to reverse. So we're taking this thing short also for the run back down. And so you can see from these kind of two plays, yeah, you know, I made a thousand bucks on YY, uh, almost a thousand bucks on uh, VIPs. I'm actually still holding some, and I'm hoping this little sucker uh, flushes into the close. Right? You can long them using that same setup, but in reverse. You get that exhaustion gap to the, to the lower side. So guys, uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, speak now or forever hold your pace. Uh, what's a CMT? Is that like a medevac kind of thing? I have no medical degrees, my friend. And guys, I hope to see everybody at the Traders Summit today. Remember, you can go. It's in my, um, I don't know what a charter technician is, my friend. I'm a self-taught man. I'm just your regular blue-collar millionaire. That's all. You know, I don't, I think the charter things, I mean, you can learn all this stuff on YouTube and from mentors and stuff. Guys, I hope to see everybody in this uh, Traders Summit. Uh, today's a free pass. I'll be doing the live webinar. I'll be kick off. I'm going to try to have one to two glasses of the wines and get myself a little pumped up. And then we're going to get this thing going, baby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't do edibles. I don't do drugs. I'm actually on a, a major detox here. So I won't even be partaking in uh, any liquid refreshments for quite some time as I lean myself back out. I've been on the road for a month. I got to Virginia, Charleston, uh, back down through Orlando. I flew to Newport Beach, California, back to uh, New York. I've been flying and driving all over the place. It's been crazy. Let me, t <laughs> let me tell you something. Uh, the overage on my lease, on the miles on my <laughs> lease car is like a buck fifty a mile. And I drove that little sucker from here all the way to Northern Virginia, back down to Charleston, to Orlando. It was, and then finally, like when I was uh, getting my oil changed, the dealer's just like, you know, you pay like a buck, you're over your months. I'm like, oh shit. 
that road trip's gonna cost me. Guys, feel free to email me anytime. For those of you guys that are beginners, um, email me. I have beginner courses and uh, stuff that I can just send you for free, some videos and stuff to get you started. And um, I'll make sure to really get you situated so that you guys understand what's going on with this stuff so that when we do these, uh, we're good to go. All right, I look forward to seeing everybody there. Uh, if you guys got any last questions, um, let me know. If not, uh, just feel free to email me, K-U-N-A-L at bullsonwallstreet.com, or you can just go to the site and uh, my guy Kevin on the contact page. He's on live chat all day. He'll help you out. Guys, I love you guys. I'll see everybody 8 p.m. tonight. Uh, I'm going to go run around for a couple hours and get myself a haircut. But you guys let me know if you need anything. Peace. Um, UA, let me see. Hold on one sec. UA. All right, so let's bring up a chart of UA. So UA right now, I don't know if you're long or short this stock, but the stock's just kind of in a range right now. But the one thing with UA that's going on, it's been pretty strong, but it's gone from 37 to 43 without a rest. And so a stock like that, it's going to be a little bit overbought and a little bit extended, sir. And so what you want to do is like if you like a stock like that, you want to um, you want to let it breathe a little bit, meaning you want to let it uh, rest. Stocks get their power from consolidation. They get their power from bases. And so what you want to always be doing is trading around support and resistance levels. And so if you like this UA, let it come back. Let it rest a little bit. Let it come back and back and fill out towards um, 41. And, you know, that way you can build some support here and you can manage your risk. The problem is if you buy it here, well, number one, it's extended. And number two, your risk is going to be like $2.50. We don't want to do something like that, right? When we look at trades, we want them to be well rested. We want them to be coiled up to make another move. And then, right, we want them to come back. So, oh, good. You bought it at 41. That's perfect. So, you know, for me, like if it's a shorter term trade, like a 5, 10 day type trade, um, you know, I'll be selling, uh, I'll be scaling out into spikes and then, you know, reload a little bit later, you know, sell half, take some profits and then uh, reload later. Yeah. Ren's been a nice stock. I've been trading this, you know, on and off for the last uh, week or two. And it's been a huge one. Uh, you can see here, this stock went from uh, five bucks to 20 bucks, but it looks like today you're starting to get some signs of a reversal. So just something uh, to be mindful of. Folks, I do got to get going. I shall see everybody in a little bit, my friends. Um, you know what? I'm not a penny stock. I, I don't really um, trade penny stocks much, but uh, let me see if I can find a ticker here. Cowie. Uh, from what I can see, Cowie's at zero cents, and so there's not much you can really do with it. Um, these are kind of one of those things that it just end up being a gamble. I very, very rarely do you see them play out too much. Um, there's a reason often that stocks are pennies and it's because, uh, they stink. You know, they tend to run on, uh, different types of news. You know, I, I haven't seen too many of them, like, just be like good investments. You know, everybody wants to buy that $1 stock that turns into a thousand. But the thing is there's, those just don't exist. I mean, even stocks like Google, right? When they IPO, they're at a hundred dollars. Um, even these stocks like Twilio, like TLWO, that's gone on this huge run. Um, even that one was, you know, it doesn't, they don't IPO at a dollar, right? They, like this one, the Twilio has like been the hottest stock of the year, um, so far. It's in IPOs. And even this one, you know, opened up at, uh, you know, it opened up at 25 and sure it ran to 60 bucks, but right, they don't open up usually in the pennies and then run to 60. You know, so something to just be mindful of is that if it's cheap, it's cheap for a reason. You know, that's at least just something I've noticed over the years. So, my friends, I do got to go. If anybody else has any other tickers or something they want to look at, uh, shoot it now. Otherwise, I, I got to go get my hair cut, man. For those of you guys that are uh, bald like me, you got to get your wig trimmed at least two, three times a week. To keep that fade going. Yee, it's all right, man. Indian people always receive. Let's see here. Stem. Yeah.
Yeah, Stam was a nice play earlier, but now it's, you know, play is pretty much done, right? You had that nice flag break out here. Dun, dun, dun. You see this nice flag break. Oh, that's at 72 cents. And it ran up to three. Uh, for the person that asked how often I do these type of videos, um, I make videos for YouTube pretty much every day, and I try to go on Periscope like a, a handful of times a week. Uh, but if you go on the Bulls on Wall Street uh, YouTube, I mean, I'm pretty much making videos every day. And then, you know, I'm in my chat room uh, trading. You know, I have my trading platforms up, and I'm on screen share and stuff. I trade in my chat room uh, every day in front of my students. You know, so it's a, they get to actually... Um, <laughs> that butt cheek video is not scripted. <laughs> like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> she did have nice butt cheeks though. <laughs> as soon as she saw it on Instagram, she's like, what the fuck did you put on there? I'm like, oh, nothing. I almost had to block her. All right, my man, I gotta go. I love you guys. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Hey, watch this YY too. It might dump a little dump again into the clothes. Not sure yet. I'm not in it, but I'll be watching it. Peace, guys.